Good morning guys, how are we? It is Monday, new week, new me, fresh start, feeling good. I've just gotten ready because I have a interview. Well, it's really just a very casual Zoom chat with my friend Cam from Outside Accounting, but he's just asking me some questions and I'm just telling him about my situation. Being presentable on top, but obviously I'm wearing track pants. how are you i am just sitting down to have coffee this morning i was supposed to work out this morning and it well it isn't the nicest of days i haven't actually spoken to you guys since i had that zoom chat the other day and i thought i would just continue on the vlog it's a new morning speaking of workouts through lockdown like no one's been able to access their gym and i feel as though when you do have a gym membership, you're so loyal and you can't really afford to spend more money on other kinds of fitness training programs or different kinds of fitness. So it's been kind of nice figuring out what kind of other training styles I like. And I downloaded the Wild Pilates online courses, which have been really great. I really enjoy Pilates. It's quite nice if you're like wanting a slightly more low-key workout um you're just in the one spot and you kind of just do more like toning burn kind of um what um exercises um but the nike training app really enjoyed it i made it include runs so you can click through to the nike run club app as well and i did i'm not very good at running but i enjoyed this run it had i did a guided run which is kind of it was a really short one The kind of the the gist of this run was it, it's a tough day easy run that was just like a 20 minute run but the great thing was that it had an audio over the top so this guy i can't remember what the name of him was he was kind of like the head he was kind of like the head coach head runner man who kind of um helped create the nike running app so he kind of coached you along and he would come in and out throughout the run and like speak for a little bit which was also really distracting and quite nice but also so motivating and i think i really need that when i'm running because i'm not quite there in terms of loving it yet and i'm also not super fit in a running sense so i find it quite hard it was really good he talks the first five minutes so that gets that other way and then he comes in halfway through and then he comes in and honestly i just loved it but yes i was supposed to work out this morning i need to i thought i would take you along with me through my freelancer morning routine yeah i've been rambling for about five minutes now so i might just finish my coffee and i will talk to you guys soon so if any of you know Lydia Millen on YouTube, I absolutely love her. She's the queen. I'm going to make her iconic tonic. Just a lemon and ginger tonic, but I think it's quite a nice idea. She kind of makes a concentrate and then you can either shot it or add water to it and have it like hot beverage in the morning. And it's literally just lemon and ginger, but they're really good for you. And I think starting your day with it, I just like the idea. So I'm gonna make it, it's very easy. But all you do is cook 100 grams of grated ginger in 500 mils of water. And I think you just bring it to the boil and then let it sit and then add the lemon. So let's do that. You can grate the ginger, but I just like blitzed it, which was so much faster. That looks divine. So then you just wait for it to come to the boil and then leave it 45 minutes and then add the lemon. So I've just made myself comfortable on the kitchen bench really. I don't really, I mean I like being in a social area when I work, is that really bad? I like to get distracted I guess, but I just don't like the idea of being up in my room, it's just not as fun and this is like a nice big open space. It's clean, I enjoy it for working. So I've just been sitting myself here. It's not the best for my posture. I'm on a like a bar stool. So I kind of do need to figure that out long term. There is the, um, 
there is the table back there but it feels very low so you know i just haven't quite worked it out yet but we'll, we'll get there um in terms of organization i kind of just start my week really by just writing down all the things that i think i need to do that week just to jog my memory and obviously go through my calendar and see if there's anything in there that I've got in, just double check I haven't got any like meetings coming up or anything like that. But the main things that I've been using have actually all been on my computer. I did, I have been writing it down in my diary. Like I think this was from last week, I just jotted everything down that I had to do that week. Yeah, my main two apps would actually be the calendar app and the reminders app. So green is work stuff, blue is at home, I've got youtube and then i've also got like social things as well but it's actually been working for me so far it's like color coding each of the things that i do i even plan out like my workout and then i'll put in time for me to get ready have a shower have a coffee just so i know how to plan my day really i really like that and kind of taking things off like kind of slotting things in really helps me in terms of organization even little things like that and i've also been using the reminders app which is also something i really like so i have like a general to do for the week and then the day of you also have a to-do list that you can just tick off and click the little button and it goes away and that's really been helping me as well just the act of like checking things off and like it disappears makes it so satisfying Hello! Those now become the master at hopping up on little things. He actually hopped up onto that cupboard up there, which I'm not sure how you did that. He's so clever. I've been letting him like get up into my wardrobe shelves and I think that's kind of made him just jump up everywhere. We need to buy him a cat tree. My mum hates the idea of that. I wouldn't mind it, he loves climbing. Anyway, the reminders app, really helpful. And with the calendar and the reminders app, it all just syncs with your phone as well. So you can like tick it off if you're on your phone too. And add things and it all just syncs up, it's great. So I've really been enjoying those two apps in terms of productivity. Game with like the G Suite, I know I set that up with my for my business email and I know that's actually really helpful. They have like a great calendar and like reminders tasks kind of thing to do. So I could check that out because it's got lots of apps within the G Suite that can help your business. So that could help me and something that I could look into maybe too. I'm actually gonna make breakfast. I was working for about two minutes and then it's five past 10. So I'm gonna make some oats. It's a cold, rainy winter's day and there's nothing better than oats in the morning and I think I've perfected my oats. Right, oats. You can just use roll oats, any kind of oats that you like. I've just got these. A ton of cinnamon. 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 Yeah, I put the cinnamon and the oats together mix it all up while it's dry then you add the banana and the water and you cook the banana in the oats and it becomes all sweet and soft it's honestly the best way to have it i just i wouldn't recommend it or if you don't like banana you could add raisins and then they go all soft and nice or oh, i should check sometimes my porridge overflows oh no we're fine i tend to go a little overboard on the peanut butter but who doesn't Blueberries, more cinnamon, peanut butter, and oats with the banana cooked through. If I was really gourmet and um, wanted the perfect oats, I would have to say a poached pear. Oh. Oh. So good, so good. But I don't have one of those and I don't know how to do that. So blueberries and peanut butter and cinnamon and banana. Amazing. I want to eat this now. That smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while, but it's your style. So something must be up keeping you down. You a queen that must be heaven sent. Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt. Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well. My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail. Actions speak louder than words, and that's a lesson that I learned. Here it is, the tonic. That would easily last me a week, maybe even a little bit longer.
but yeah you just do like a shot of this with either hot water or just take a shot of it but it's good for you and it's nice on a winter's morning to be honest it's quite zingy yes love it guys new day again <laughs> so much for a morning routine vlog i'll have to do that another day this is kind of just a bunch of clips from my week but I'm just sitting down with my lemon ginger tonic that I made the other day. Pretty sure, I don't know if this is the right word and I probably shouldn't even say it if I don't know what I'm talking about. But having lemon after or before, I think it's before coffee, it like balances out your stomach. I don't know if it alkalizes it, but I think it's good. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. And I remembered yesterday, I didn't actually show you one of the other apps that I've been using. It is called, damn it computer's out of battery i'll show you it on my phone it's called toggle and when i started this the other i'm sorry if you can hear construction background i don't know where that's coming from what i found when i was i started working for a lot of different people um i was trying to figure out the how i i was trying to figure out how i charged people and so far it's actually kind of been a mix between charging by the hour and charging by like a fixed price for like a bundle type thing. Um, depending on the work that I'm doing for people, I kind of switch it up. And I think that's the thing when you start freelancing, it's kind of just like a trial and error situation. Getting the gist of like who charges what, understanding the industry a bit better just as you go. But Toggle has been really helpful. It's really great for locking in your hours. So you literally just press play to start tracking your time and then you can also add a new client and a new project i've got a bunch already listed from what i've been working on you can color code everything depending on the project or the client and it's really helped me google has been so helpful in terms of obviously tracking my hours which means when i come to invoice people i have the exact times for my clients it also is really great it sends you reports every week so you can kind of get an insight into how you're working as to how you're working along the way. If anyone has any other great hour tracking or even just task tracking reminder type apps that work on your mobile and your computer, let me know down in the comments. That would be really interesting. I just found this one, it came up like quite early in my search. So I went with that. So I think I might finish the vlog there. So much for a morning routine vlog. It's all been filmed during the morning. I'm gonna go have lunch now, but I also am just about to film um, kind of a one month update pros and cons of freelancing type thing so watch out for that video too soon thank you so much for watching guys if you like watching my videos please subscribe you don't have to but i would love if you do and yeah i'll see you very soon bye